important to become two worshippers of God. So, one of the things that indicates how worship should be spiritual, not fleshly, not worldly. When you dance before the Lord, you cannot copy uh, the style of the world. It's not dancing, just simply dancing, it's dancing before the Lord. There's holiness in that dance, there's spiritual, spirituality in that dance, and that singing is not the way it's done in the world, right? It must be in the spirit. Would you agree? Is everybody here? And it's perfect with truth. The truth. And where do you find the truth? How do you know the truth? Where do you know the truth? Say, in God's word. Say, in God's word. So, to attain to knowledge and understanding of God, we need to consult the word of God and be established on the word. You do not worship God in the Right? If that is to be done in spirit and truth, you don't worship God out of the you cannot worship what you do not know. You commit a mistake, right? If you got to be established in the Word, you got to read the Bible every day. If you want to train your heart to worship God, read the book of Psalms, be inspired by the book of Psalms. But how we are to worship God? Does everybody here? There must be truth, there must be knowledge that we propound to God. When we worship God, we even sing it hallelujah. Not to become a Lulia. It's not just Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Oh, there are more intelligent words that you want to say that to God. That's from the world. Is everybody here? Amen. So let us establish in the word of God. Now, we are to know who we truly worship. And we started learning about the name of God. If you are to know God or to know who you worship, you need to begin with the name. But somebody is fit to be seen. How are you supposed to that person? It is God. This is the name. Right? You are introduced by your name. Is everybody here? So if you value you know somebody, you start with knowing the name of the person. Right. Right. Oh, the Bible can say me. So the Bible can say me. Come on. I'm not letting you. But that means to say that when you do not know the name of the person, you begin with the name. Right. Look at the person beside you and say you begin with the name. So if you've got to know the Father, you've got to begin with what? The name. Say the name. Tell it, everybody. You've got to know the name of the Father. Because the Father is the one seeking for two worshippers. You've got to know the name. And even Jesus, the Lord's prayer, He taught us how to pray. What's the first line of the prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, second, hallowed be your holy be your name. Actually, the good means, may your name be sanctified. What does it mean, may your name be sanctified? May your name be separated from all the other names. Let everyone know that this name is the highest name, that there is no one who has this name. May it be meaningful to everybody, the name of the Father. Jesus told us to know his name, to sanctify that name. So what's the name of the Father? What's the name of the Father? It's the name of God. Now, some may call him Yahweh. I used to call him Yahweh, in fact, it's the first book, Matthew. But I mean, I wrote, I use Yahweh a lot. Jehovah, I get used. You know, Yahweh, but when I started learning about Hebrew, I understood in Hebrew when I can read Hebrew, I found that this name really is the name of God. I knew that name, then when I think of the past, I would say, Jehovah Child, I don't know that Jehovah Child, Jehovah Rapha, all this, we understand, but sometimes we need to change it with Yahweh. But let me tell you what Yahweh, Yahweh is dramatically good, dramatically the one form of the name of God. Now, 
because of which salvation, deliverance, profession, all there. So you see, the name of God plays a central role in our worship. Now let me come to the that you can find. I can find hundreds of this in the Bible. But it plays a central role in our worship, in the adoration of the most high God. As God wants us to have a powerful knowledge of that Why? Because this is the way by which you will be remembered in the name. By which you will be remembered in the name. Now, when you talk about the name, that's like, I downloaded from this side the names of God. And it's funny that the names of God, to whom I tire, tire it, the Lord will provide to the Rapha, the Lord will feel to you, but you're not. The Lord is blessing to you, but you're not. The Lord has peace. You have a Lucy, the Lord has honor. You have a Rapha, the Lord has suffered. You have a sick of you, and the Lord has righteousness. Let me tell you something. It's not in names of God. I can only say those who are The problem with us is that whenever we mention names like things like Jehovah, Jaira, we only look up Jaira. The Bible. All my days are to be quiet. And then we don't look up Jehovah. Because we look at this as the Lord. What was it about the vision? Remembered for all generations. 
that Israel ever won war. However, as I've said, you see this only clearly in the negative text. Let me show you this verse in Hebrew. In Hebrew script. So, I'm not. Let me know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. At least, if you, if there is a word that you have learned in the whole world, you can know this, you're bad. Why? If you look at the Bible, you can see that I'm happy to know you're bad. That's the name of the Lord of us. If you're, if you're going to be new, then you come up with the six times, you're going to be able to do it. That's the name of the Lord. Okay, so, you see, you're bad. You can put it as a word, it's you're bad, and you're bad, and you're bad. Which means I am God of your fathers. So I like to say, I will do this in the beginning. Okay? But you may all be not here, but I will say, for the God, for the name you see that I am, your God, and the name of the Great Him, and the name of the Lamb, the God of your God, and the name you see that, and the name you are for, and it took the collective and they come. This kind of life sent me. Okay? So, you got them, the blue one, trust in me, let me know. This is my name. Okay? There, there seems to be the door there. That is, this is how I will be mentored. So, by your name, or the name of the nation, by your name means to expose the enemy of the enemy to Moses. But the Bible does say that the name is there, the same thing is there, you are God. You are God in the hell of both of them. You are God, the God of your fathers. And you heard Abraham, the God of Abraham, and you heard his God. I said, and you heard it, and you heard it, you are cool. Jacob said, let me a little. I will tell it, I will accept you. Say to me, the Lord, this is my name forever. You are God. Go say, sit down with the Lord. This is how I would like to be remembered. What is that name? What is that name? Lord, your God, we don't know this name, God says, this is how I want you to remember me. This is my name forever. The white one in L-O-R-T. Yeah, you can call it L-O-R-T, but when you find it in the scripture that this name is your God, you can understand it. So we are the one to remember the name of your God. Are you with me? Are you with me? I'm teaching you this that we have to solve, but I know you are prepared for this. We have to remember the name of God for them. Okay, so that name is what? Your God. So this is the name that God wants to be remembered. Secretly, the door to the generation to generation. Generations to generations. Okay? So this is the name by which we are to remember. So why use other names? His name is Yodah and his name is Yeshua. How are we to respond to that name? It's about how people are getting in life. How do we respond? How do we have to be loved? We have to love and be. We don't trust in this name. We don't love and be. If you don't love it, I'm not going to love it. If I'm fine to love it, I'm not all taking that future. Let them ever see the truth. It's not your protection of the end, but those who are, love your name, the 
rejoice in you. But those who love your name, they rejoice in you. What is your name? Verse 12. Verse 20. Oh, you have God. You bless the righteous. You surround it with favor as with a sword. They love the name. Oh, you righteous ones. Love the name. Don't put the name here. I'm teaching you the name. Don't put the name here. Put the name here. Because that name is God. If you love that name, you love God. If you love God, you love that name. You love that name. And I will tell you one of the two evidences of divided. One of the two evidences of divided is falling apart. You know this verse, but we look up that and see the heart of the Lord. And we read this all together one to three. Revive us the what? We will call on your name. Revive us, and the consequence, the byproduct of your holiday is we will call on your name. Because there will be a revelation of your baptism. I tell you, we are going to keep it either. Why? Because they're having a revelation of the name. The name of the Lord is the Lord. This is my name. Why? Because this is the name of the Lord. This is the name of the Lord. So this is the name of the Lord. I have a prayer. John 1 for 8 verse 9. Let them praise the name of the Lord. And praise the name. For his faith alone is what? It's so good. You can look at that word, it's so good. For his faith alone, so alone, is it so that his splendor is above the earth and the heavens. So, Jehovah's name alone is not so good. There is no other name higher than the earth. But, you know what I mean? For the highest name. And the greatest name is your God. Now, let us see what the new testament is. Have you ever wondered why in Philippians chapter 2 verse 9, Paul said that God gave his son the name of God of Jesus? Have you ever wondered about that? God gave the name God gave Jesus the name that is about all names. Without the name of Jesus, everything is about every type of faith that he is. Oh, don't think that God is the thing in the Old Testament, the very beginning of God, that Jesus is the name. Hello. Are you with me? I will say that you will look at all the future studies. But this son's name is about all names. The next question is, what is that name that makes this name more than the other names? That name is the Lord. Every name shall bow, every time the first, that he is the Lord. Let me show you the name of Jesus. What is the name of Jesus in Hebrew? Yeshua, step one, Yeshua, and Yeshua means that basically. Now, the number one is Yeshua, the Yeshua. Joshua, the book of Joshua, Joshua is Yeshua, the Joshua, the name is Yeshua. The question is, what is the Yeshua, the Yeshua? In God, we can put names, words together and make them all. In one way, you can find three names, three words in one word. So, what is the word? It's the one. Shout it. Shout it. You know what? And this is the long, the lo- really the long form of the name of Jesus. You know what? You see it. You see what I'm saying. For the so called of Yeshua of the Yeshua is Shua. Yehovah Shua, meaning Yehovah. 
the dad thinks, the father thinks, that is the name that God gave to the son. What does that mean? What does that mean? The name of the father gave to the son. The father knew what Jesus would do. And the father would know that Jesus would do everything he told him to do. He was to keep it even just on the cross. Right? And what Jesus did was, uh, he made himself nothing, according to Philippians chapter 2, verse 7. He made himself nothing and was found in the form of a man. Now, this is known as Jesus emptying himself of divine attributes, though he was God, but he did not choose to use his divine attributes. This is known in theology or in the Greek as gnosis. If you study Christology, or soteriology, one of the things that you will know about Jesus that he did closest, he emptied himself, but he still was God. But he did not choose to use all of his human powers, godly powers, divine attributes, but entirely dependent on the Holy Spirit. So that we can do what he had done. Because if he had done it using his divine attributes, we cannot do that. Right? I think there was only one time we did that. But even Peter was able to do this. He was able to walk over the cross. And Peter was six. So in this world, by being a man who could humble himself, even that on the cross, the son would be obedient to the father. So the first, the father gave his son the highest name. And what is that highest name? According to Psalm 148, verse 13, you know that he gave him that name. Therefore, God is the name of our own things. Don't you know that even Jesus acknowledged this, that this name is the name of the Father? You know what? I've used this verse many times to you in the past. John 7, 18, 11. I will remain in the world. This is the time Jesus was praying before uh, he, would, uh, he was arrested. I will remain in the world no longer. But they are still in the world that I am coming to you. Holy Father, the Holy Father. Protect them by the power of your name. And what is the next one? The name you gave me. So that they may be one as in God. So what's the name of the Son? The name of the Father. Now, even Jesus testified about this. But protect you by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that there may be one as we are. Listen, the Father and the Son are one, right? The persons in their uh, concept and all attributes, they're all one. They're separate individual personalities, right? Right? But they also have Instead, when we are That's why Jesus said, when you pray, Jesus in my name, the Father will say, Why? Because when you follow your sweetheart of Jesus, the Father will say, He is the Father to be too. The Father is never intimidated when you pray in His name, in Jesus' name. And Jesus is never intimidated. We love it especially when we address the Father in heaven as your right. And then we end by saying, we ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Your Father. Your Father. So Psalm 14, applies to the Son. Are you with me? The Father is the great Yehovah. The Son is Yehovah, your Sia. And Yehovah saves. We need to say, the deliverance of the Father is the God says, if I, I want to deliver you, I want to save you from my music. I'm sending my son. He is good. He said the name, same nature, he said the same. Amen. Are you with me? Did you get it? Did you get it? That's why the name of Jesus is our Lord. Why? He will see the word. Mm-hmm. 
is your kind of course. This is God choosing to cause this to happen. My name to be remembered and will come to and bless you. Thank you. 